having the ability to create selection sets inside of Blender is a goddamn lifesaver. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, personally, when I'm using Blender, I render out a lot of CAD. They are uh, generally product renders for medical equipment, stuff like this. And when you're using CAD data, there's always thousands of assets. Thousands, and I mean thousands. The last one I had, I think it was 6,000. And that goes from screws to washers to absolutely everything. So having the ability to create selection set, it just, it just speeds up your workflow. Now obviously you can kind of do this naturally with creating things like collections, but it doesn't always work like that. You can even do group instances and stuff like this, but having a separate add-on that kind of handles all of this for you, it just makes your life so much easier. And I'm going to take a look at this add-on today. Now, what I'd recommend you do is you take a look at the developer's page. There's some really nice tools here. You have a Blender version of Spring Magic, show all icons, and you know, there's a few other things here like delete keyframes on even interval, stuff like this. But obviously the one that we're interested in is Selection Set. Highly recommend it. Download it. It'll make your life 10 times easier. And we'll take a quick look here. It's pretty easy to use, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pretend I have thousands of assets. Now let's just quickly do something like this. And what I can do is I can create a selection set. So say for example, we're working on these three objects. I want to make this a selection set. All I need to do is come up here and hit the plus sign. If I open up the properties panel on the right hand side and check it out here, selection set, I can actually rename these to anything that I want. So we'll call this set one. Perfect. And let's do something else. So let's select this and let's add in a new set. And we'll call this set two. So now what I can do is I can quickly jump between different selection sets. Now this is ideal, maybe you want to have the camera and the light selected. Let's create another set. Let's call this camera. And it means I can quickly select things very, very fast. Absolutely perfect if you're working with a lot of assets or you need to manage the scene in an efficient way. I really do recommend you download it, install it, and if you can, throw a couple of bucks to the developer. Now the great thing about this is you can actually load the list and export it as well. Now I don't think it gets saved with the blend file, which is why I think you have this option here. Now unfortunately this doesn't work in edit mode, it's specifically aimed at object mode. And it doesn't actually register collections as well. Now it would be nice if you could have different collections as an actual set, but unfortunately it doesn't do that. But in terms of the edit mode, you can use things like Vertex Group. And there is another add-on called Forgotten Tools that actually saves like faces, vertex, stuff like this. But when it comes to object mode, absolutely fantastic. Love this add-on. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.